Uh, good morning, it's Sydney Cup time and I thought uh, I might have a look at a new feature on the GTX program. And I'll remind you that um, if you want to try out the GTX program with WinForm ratings installed, three months cost you $1,249, but guess what? If you don't like the product after 10 days, you can get a full refund. However, not many people ask for the refund, but I'll talk to you about the Sydney Cup. As you can see, it's a fairly tight bunch here once I've had a look through the form and uh, come up with what I think are the best options. Okay, I'll show you the important new feature on GTX in a moment. But have a look here and we can see the Hippopus. He will stay all day this horse. He'll be still fighting at the end and I've rated him a $5.30 chance and he's expected to be around $15. Okay, now the uh, Brigantine. Okay, he's only having his third run from a spell. He's also rated $5.30, trained by Chris Waller, ridden by Newark. Sartorius, well, we know he ran a good fourth last start. Uh, he's rated $7.80. And then we've got a Pingle at $8.70. A Pingle did very well in Tasmania. Had a bit of a let up, came back and ran third last start. And then we've got the offer. As you can see, though, this is a fairly tight market up top. And there are heaps of horses down here. And once you go to 3,200 metres, and on what is sure to be a wet track still, it's going to be a bit of a slog. 3,200 metres is going to seem more like about 3,400-3,500 metres. The overseas horses will be frolicking, I would reckon. But let's have a look now. I'm going to have a look at the setup I've got here. It's a new feature, and it shows you, for your horses, how the jockeys are going. So, for example, Hippopus is risen by Jimmy Cassidy. Now, he's got a strike rate overall of 22.5% and a loss on turnover of only 3.9%. Okay, so he does get some good odds ones up. And this is on the last 333. Okay, now that strike rate is based on him riding horses at around the 8 or $9 mark. Okay, and his last 100 races is at a 20% strike rate. And because he's been on some very popular horses, is actually lost about 15%. But the important thing here is his average strike rate on horses that are in the market, 22.5%, more than one in five. Knew it, just under 20%. And look at this, an all-time rate of minus 20%. So his mounts are heavily back. Of course, with Jimmy Cassidy being a 50-year-old, is um, <laughs> it's probably got a disadvantage to the youngsters, if you like. Now, Maloney on Sartorius, He's got a reasonable strike rate, one in five. As a matter of fact, if you look down this virtually all these jockeys have a great, got a great strike rate. The only one we don't have anything on is Zach Purton, but that's because he hasn't been riding here. He's uh, over from where he's riding overseas, but he's a great jockey. Okay, okay. So you're getting really the best of the best here with all these very good riders. Okay, even in, look at the last 100 races, 20%, 17, 17, 23, 26. So they're all riding at their peak, and why wouldn't they for the Autumn Carnival? So, just summing it up, let's just go back to our main screen. Now, oh, by the way, you can see these jockey stats for every single race in Australia, every single day. I think it's fantastic, especially when you're dealing with some jockeys uh, racing in country and provincials you might not be fully aware of. Okay, we go back here. Hippopus, as I say, it's probably going to be around $15, uh, dollars, and that's a reasonable each way chance considering it just keeps going on. Sartorius, query at the distance maybe. The offer is going like a bomb and will be the favourite. I leave it up to you. I hope you have a good weekend. Have a happy Easter.